Day Canada, and welcome to Corner Brook. There is tremendous excitement here today, and here's why. This is the Canada Game Center. We're just moments away from the opening ceremony for the first Canada Winter Games ever held in Newfoundland. A good time is guaranteed in Corner Brook over the next two weeks. They're doing the wave here with the Premier on one side and the Prime Minister of Canada on the other. We're ready for the ceremony to begin. 1999 Canada Winter Games. and managers of the 1999 Canada Games, led by the official mascot of these Winter Games, Totuit Province of the 1999 Canada Winter Games, Team Newfoundland. see the Newfoundland dog and the Labrador retriever in front of this procession of Newfoundland athletes coming in here. But it's just about perfect, and this place is even more magic right now. I'm speechless. Everybody in this building is up, athletes included. Ladies and gentlemen, now entering the Canada Games Center is the official Canada Games flag. Canada Winter Games officially open. Good luck, have a great time, sunshine!
ceremonies of the 1999 Canada Winter Games. Yeah, you know, now, mummers, start the music and bring on the crowd for the Newfoundland time. Canada Winter Games, the parade of athletes is set to get underway, led by an honor guard. Totsuit will also be leading the band. He is the official mascot of these games. Bonner Monk, 18-year-old from Blackville, Nova Scotia. Get ready for an uproar. Here come Newfoundland and Labrador. Gold flag bearers this afternoon. Donnie Hutt, gold medal in boxing. Nancy Hicks, gold medal in weightlifting. Their best games ever. Total of 19 medals for Newfoundland, six gold. Performance of Lee Churchill from Hodges Cove. Three gold medals in cross-country skiing. He started the he started it off for Newfoundland and they just followed his lead. Billy Russell picked up gold in boxing. Johnny Hunt picked up gold in boxing. Again, last night at Humber Gardens, the place was rocking when they stepped into the ring and their momentum just ended the games on a superbly high note for Newfoundland and Labrador. What wonderful hosts this province has been. 22,000 people live in Cornerbrook. 9,000 volunteered for the games. Just about every member of this community has been involved in the games in some capacity. award this year to the home team, Newfoundland. Going to the team, best exhibiting competitive performance, good sportsmanship, a spirit of fair play, cooperation, and friendship. The Jack Pellick Award to Newfoundland and Labrador. Well deserved Ladies by the gentlemen. host home team. You hosted absolutely wonderful games loaded with your home style, generosity of spirit and goodwill for putting the athletes first and for staging the best ever Canada Winter Games. weeks ago we proudly welcomed you, Canadians all, to Cornerbrook and the western portion of the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. And yet we all know with a sense of nostalgia that's in the air, the games are coming to a close.